All right, uh, just getting set with some new software to hopefully make this go a little bit smoother. Kind of hard to tell when it's live, when it's not. And now it's uh, it's <laughs> playing the sound back for me, so I'll just mute the sound <clears throat> right now. But um, I got something I'm really excited, some cool news that came out this week that I want to kind of get to right now. And that is uh, Lead Pages came out with a cool feature. So as soon as I make sure everything is up and broadcasting correctly here, um, then we can, then uh, I kind of want to dive into some of this stuff. Cool, looks like, uh, looks like it is working. All right, so um, Lead Pages. I love, absolutely love Lead Pages as a landing page builder. It's my tool of choice. I've been using them for years. There's a, a bunch of competitors that have come onto the market recently. I th I'd say ClickFunnels is probably making the biggest noise as, as far as people that I just keep hearing over and over. There's always kind of more enterprisey ones that have been around for a while, like Unbounce and uh, Instapage. But Lead Pages is always my go-to one, and, and it fits perfectly with my philosophy of I love to use the best in class software that's that's uh that makes things modular. So when by modular I mean if I want to build a landing page, I want to pick out the best landing page software. And if I want to build it into a membership site, then I'll plug that into the best membership software. Whereas kind of the philosophy you see a lot of other people go with, I call it like the Salesforce effect, is tools like um, ClickFunnels is a new one of this, and FusionSoft is kind of an old one, but the model where we do everything. And, and that's not really my favorite way to do things. I love to pick the best in-class software, pair it with the, with the other people that are the best in-class, and make my decisions like that. So I quickly wanted to walk through some of this stuff um, <clears throat> and show you guys what it is. All right, let's see. My Chrome source got lost here. Let me see if I can add this back so I can show you guys exactly what I'm looking at. Okay. So this is uh, the, the new feature from Lead Pages that came out. Uh, this was just announced this week, and it says, give each visitor a personal deadline funnel with your evergreen account line. So um, basically what that means is you can put a timer on your landing page and it kind of goes through some of this stuff, shows you a little bit how it works. So you've got your landing page offer. Now you can put a timer on it. And while timers are, are not really anything new, it's kind of getting into some other stuff down there. Timers aren't really anything new. Um, what is difficult and there's some software that has solved this kind of more in the email marketing space but this is the first landing page software that I know of that has given you the ability to create individual countdown timers and um, to show you what I mean I'm gonna cut over to my brand new um, see if I can get this part to work too <laughs> I'm gonna cut over and show you guys how this works so that we can get a better feel of it and so and checking out my new desk cam feature with this. So this is, this is essentially what they're saying. You build your landing page just like before. This is also going to highlight the fact that I'm much better with technology and marketing than drawing. You build your landing page just like before, and at the top, you put this timer. Now, the main reason you'd want to put a timer into something like this is because when you use timer, that's a really great way to add scarcity to your offer. And it's a real scarcity because that timer does end, the offer does go away. Um, that's a great way to get people to actually take action. Um, some other ways that people add scarcity and, and kind of force you to take an action would be maybe some, maybe the, the simplest one is just that the price goes up. So you see this all the time with sales or um, expiring bonuses like you get bonuses if you act before this timer ends or something like that but the ability to add a timer and force somebody to make a decision is a really great way to increase your sales so this is the way that lead pages has done it so we've got this guy here call this guy this is john and it's important to understand the way that lead pages works with this timer because it'll kind of tell you, kind of inform you the best way to do it. So 
John here got his little laptop and he's going to visit your offer. Right. And then the page is going to load. So this is John asking for the page, the page loading. And when, and let's say we've got a seven day timer on there. So it's going to say seven days right at the top. That's awesome. Okay. Now let's say one day later, Sarah is going to do the same thing. And she looks a lot like John, but that's, that's what I can do. So Sarah is going to go to this page here. And she's going to load this page, and it's going to say that Sarah has seven days. But if this same day, if John visits that page again, it's going to say six days. So effectively what we've done here is this timer right here is customized for every single person that visits the page. The, the important thing to note though is that the way it works is when this page loads, that's what starts the timer. So there's a part of the browser in the computer called local storage. It's not important, but I'm a big technical nerd, so I get into all that stuff about local storage and cookies and, and whatnot, and this is how it works. There's a little clock here, let's say, and John loads it. It starts that seven-day countdown timer, and that timer starts ticking then. When Sarah loads this page, two days, uh, one day later, her clock starts ticking, but it's one day behind John's. Now, the reason that that's important is that this is done on the page load side, okay? So, when somebody loads the page, that's what starts the timer. So if we had sent out an email broadcast and it went to John and it went to Sarah and it went to them on the same day and it said, you have seven days to buy this thing. John clicks on it the first day. As soon as that email goes out, John's uh, obsessed with his phone. He's clicked on the thing. His timer starts seven days just like that. But Sarah, she's a little bit more diligent with her email and she doesn't open that email until the next day. And the email says you have seven days. She clicks on it. But her clock is now a day behind John. So the important thing there is that it's based on when somebody actually visits your landing page, not when they get this email. That's really um, the big distinction. So if you have an email series that's not just announcing it that it's seven days, but it's going to go out over time, and say like like three days left, two days left, one day left. Okay, it's closing right here. That's a that's a, a sequence that you see a lot in these types of launches to kind of help force the action. The thing, the the only limitation with lead pages is that when you do this method, when because of the way their their timer works, based on when somebody visits the page, not when you not when you send this first email right here. It's based on when somebody visits the page that limits your ability to time these emails and say definitively in your email sequence, you have one day left. It is closing today. So that's really the only thing I don't love about the lead pages feature. What I do love is that you can get this right away and you can just plug it right in and start using it immediately. You don't have to go find other off the shelf software or deal with integrations or anything like that. And in that respect, I think it's it's brilliant and it's and it's going to make a huge difference for a ton of people. Um right out of the box, there is one so this part right here, these emails that you're you're sending someone back, you're constantly reminding them, go to this offer, go to this offer, go to this offer. That's called a return path. And in marketing, you really need to have a return path built in to your offers if you want to get the maximum value. So e using an email return path with this Leads Pages feature is going to be difficult because of the timing issue. But one of the things that you can do really well is Facebook ads. So Facebook ads, um, you can build an audience of people that have visited, that's a terrible audience, but you get the idea. Here's your container of people. And when people visit this landing page, they get put in this container. And in Facebook, you can say, I want people who visited 
in the last 30 days to be here, or I want people who visited in the last seven days, or I want people who visited in the last three days even. So you can use these containers and use Facebook ads to build a return path that is actually timed with the offer on this page. That's really um, the way, the way as I see looking at it, if you need to build a return path that says you've only got one week to do this, hey, today's your last day, um, using Facebook ads is probably the best way to get there. And, uh, and you'd want to run that campaign. You'd, essentially, you'd create an audience of, seven, of people who v- um, visited in six days and people who visited in seven days, and you'd just kind of say, exclude these people, but include these people, and then you're kind of left with people with just one day left. <clears throat> the other tip there is if you run that ad, um, optimize it for reach, not uh, conversions or something like that. And you'll get in front of a lot of those people on their last day, say, hey, this offer is closing. It will, it should be timed as best you can with with pixel-based technology like that. It should be timed with that timer. And that's really one of the best ways that I see using this feature. Um, I I made some suggestions about some kind of query string parameters and and URLing, ways to URL encode some stuff so that you could start using this email marketing return path. But right now, that's kind of your limitation. So first of all, huge props to the lead pages team. I absolutely love this feature that's going out. Um, Just when you're using it, make sure you understand the limitations of that return path and how all that works. And I would love to stay on here and talk a little bit more about this and dive into some more nerdy details, but I got to get to some other stuff today. So I'll see you next week. Uh, right here. I'm going to try to be doing these every week. So any questions you have about technology or automation or marketing process, drop them in the comments and we'll get to those uh, next week.